Hi guys, my name is Dr. Shornell Warburton Sihan. I'm so excited to introduce to you my new and latest book, The Science of Miracles, Remembering the Frequency of Love. This is your time to shift any kind of negative things that have been in your life that no longer serve you into something beautiful, miraculous, abundant, thriving health, business, partnership, whatever the situation, this is your time. Get the book, apply the principles, and watch the miracles happen for you. Hello and welcome to the Un Beyond Mindset podcast. My name is Marisol Uribe, aka Enfermera Marisol, Nurse Marisol. So I'm here today with Charnel Sihan. She is a doctor. Uh, she's a graduate, you know, graduate school studied. And she's got a lot she could share with us in terms of holistic approach to just your overall human person, right? How can you integrate more with yourself and ultimately to be happy, healthy, and vibrant? So Dr. Charnel, uh, please introduce yourself and tell us what you're all about. Hey, well, thank you so much for having me. I loved meeting you and you're such a, an amazing person and in real life as well as online i know maybe Thank some people you. know you online but i got to be with you in real life and it was such a pleasure to share space with you but yes i'm a naturopath um so what the naturopath doctor does and leans more towards is doing anything on a natural way so i don't prescribe medicine that has side effects i'm going to look at what the body is doing i'm going to see where it is energetically I'm going to um, look at ways that maybe we can detox so the body can do what it needs to on its own, as well as look at anywhere um, in some weaknesses that we can maybe beef up, um, whether it's in an energy form or through a supplement or something in frequency with crystals or essential oils. Um, you know, basically the body is made to heal itself on its own. But if um, we're participating in things that aren't serving us very well physically and as well as you know the food has changed so much over over these last few oh, years dramatically yes and water has changed you know the way people cook um the way people grow food i mean all of this stuff has is um has been a big a big thing that's caused some issues in the physical body um, but as well as like supplements these days, we've tested multiple companies now. Some of the companies that I really look to that were like, oh my gosh, this is like high quality, pure, have now been sold to other places that um, aren't having the highest quality and or things inside of the supplements that aren't going to be serving you. So. Uh, I know they're trying to move to eventually even making supplements something that has to be prescribed so they can do whatever they want and put in all their synthetic stuff. But so that's been a ongoing kind of fight, I guess, over over time. Of, you know, they continue to take away the things that are really good for us, like NAC and some of those things that they wouldn't um, that kind of kept on the DL so nobody would be able to just help themselves. Um, and um so my focus again is just like what are some things that still are available that we can put in our body put on our body participate in whether it's eating drinking uh, or just sustaining life balance uh you know exercise and you know getting walks and you know just just all the overall practice of things in your life that look at all of it um a lot of mds medical doctors will have a tendency to not all, but a lot of them have, have only been trained in more of a Western approach where they look at a symptom and they treat the symptom based on like, you know, hey, let's make it not be painful anymore so you don't feel the pain. But it doesn't deal with the root issue of like, why are we feeling pain? Let's look at that. Um, if you had a car that needed oil or oil change and you went to the, um, the oil change guy uh and because it's like blinking and it's making a loud sound you know if you brought it to an auto mechanic and they're like oh my god you know what let me take that light out and i'm going to remove the sound so it doesn't bug you anymore um i would say go to a new auto mechanic because that's yep. that's 
not going to deal with the root and you're going to keep driving that car with no oil and your transmission is going to go out and you're going to have bigger, louder issues that cost more money and then are harder to deal with. So uh, I like to, you know, just look at people's lives in general and see what we can do for everyone to be, you know, working towards helping themselves and um, having the education as well of knowing what to do. So if we, God forbid, went without internet or whatever, that they would, you would, we would all have resources within our heart, within our mind of just normal practices and or some physical books that, again, they're taking away the books too. I've, I've been at conferences where the FDA came and literally just took the books off the shelves and said, you can't sell these anymore because they have, um, you know, help support and like cancer or different things that we've been dealing with in the last two or three years that are pretty easy to fix, but they don't want it to be fixed. So that's kind of what an MD this is does. my bread and butter right here. I love that you focus on the cause, the root cause, right? Let's enough with the band-aids, with the treating the symptoms, but let's look at the big picture, right? How are you doing functionally? How is this affecting you mentally, spiritually, overall? And so, you know, these last two years post-pandemic, I mean, even during and, and before that, people were utilizing what they know to be true in terms of, hey, in my backyard, I could grow my fruits and veggies, yeah. right? Yeah go to the farmer's market, get rich, organically sourced ingredients. Would you say that's the best way to go? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I love that you brought up the garden thing. So many people have went that route um, more than ever. Um, you know, with what's happened in the last two, three years now, we're almost on the third year, um, even with education and stuff. I mean, you're seeing every area of life being completely transformed, you know, where people, it's now like super cool to homeschool, uh, yeah. super cool to know how to survive and be a prepper and have gardens and grow your own food. Because at least if you have your own food, you know what's going on in the soil. You know, if there's been pesticides or herbicides, you know, if, you know, what you're planting and, you know, if you can provide for yourself or what have you, gardens, herbs, you know, lots of stuff that, um, that can help support you. And I've even talked to a ton of people who are like going together and doing like community gardens and what have you. So That's they're so good. I've Horticulture, been, agriculture, you guys could just read off the internet or pick up a book like Dr. Chanel is saying to get better with what you're doing naturally at home to prevent illness. Absolutely. And prevention is key. That's a great word. I love that because you know, I would much rather work with someone and have them have a good practice of things so we don't get to that, you know, car with no gas or no, no oil the situation. Wreck. Yeah, so wreck. It's, it's so much easier to just be in balance and work on yourself daily than to have a big event happen and then go, oh, crap, I got to figure out how to fix this. Or, and it can be even, like, detrimental to where it's too late to fix it. So... Uh, I like how you um, have that perspective of like, why not just work on things every day that you can control? Because all and I think a lot of people are very overwhelmed emotionally and a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, you know, the news. There's been a lot of input, a lot of data, right? One-sided narratives, right? Believe me, believe that, believe this. So out of all the information out there, it's normal for you to question, who do I believe, yeah. right? And you know, with my book that's coming out and beyond mindset health as a home health nurse background in community and public health. I'm with you, Dr. Sharnell. I want to keep people out of the hospital for as long as possible. Right. So we're learning all these things, but then it comes to the implementation, right? How do we get you to actually do the things that we tell you to do? Right. If your doctor is suggesting a, a medication, you're more than willing to get a second opinion, right? Like you don't have to be tied down to anything people tell you, like including us. But the point is for you to get informed, see both sides of the story, right? Maybe even a third perspective. You know, if two people read the same book, they could get different concepts from it. 
So what actually sticks is more than likely what you will actually do. So in your case, out of everything that you've researched, what have you narrowed your focus today in terms of your current practice? Yeah, um, and thanks. I love that you're bringing this up because even research can be an issue because they've scrubbed so much, you know, whether if they're taking off the books, they're definitely scrubbing things off the internet too and or censoring. Like I had my entire channel and 10 years of my work completely removed in a day, just woke up and it was gone. Um, and all I was doing was trying to help people like know what to do in the situation with some basic groceries and things that they can get at, you know, the store to be ready and to be better positioned to not have to deal with all the things. I'm not going to say those words because that's the right. kind of stuff that gets everything off the internet, but the censorship and the narrative, like you said, has been very one-sided. So even if you tell someone to go research, they could Google something and it comes up exactly what they need, what, what they were hoping you would stay in that narrative. So, um, you know, different platforms. And I love that you're writing a book and trying to get other really good information out there that people can have and hold and learn and retrain and, you know, transform the mind of just, you know, re the word repent means I, I don't want to get biblical because I'm not a bit, I'm not religious at all. But um, we look at, you know, sin is just being less than love, falling short of the target. It's actually a, um, a, a bow and arrow. Uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Um, terminology. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's just not staying. Not meeting the mark, right? Just yeah, shyly staying off course a bit, but you could always recorrect and come back, yeah. right? Yeah, we always have recalculating, you know, when your GPS is recalculating or whatever, we can recalculate, you know, and so yeah. our body will tell us with a message, pain, hey, there's an issue here. And then that gives us something to go by and to look at and go, okay, I need to give this attention. And the less we look at it, the louder it will get until it's like, okay, I cannot stop looking at this. I'm going to have to do something. Um, but as far as answering your question, um, energy medicine is a big, big, huge thing because frequency is everything. Our body is 67 megahertz on a healthy adult day. And if we get lower through, you know, lots of different ways that you can drop, um, that is what opens us up and get causes us to be more susceptible to dis-ease, like lack of ease in the body. Um, so the higher frequency they, that we are, the more opportunity to stay in love, to, to keep the mark, to hold the mark, not just to keep, not just to make make the mark and hit the target but to stay and even to um transform that into other people because we all have this biofield the biofield i've tested some people only an inch some people are inverted some people are already up to 20 feet and this whole arena is very uh tangible and it contains information um, that not only radiates out, but magnetizes back to, to you. So who you're hanging around with and, you know, just us being together in that vicinity, we can actually transfer some of that back and forth. And in that group of people that we were at, that was a really good vibe. It was high vibe. You know, everybody, I love those events where we can all be together, hug, you know, experience things, laughing, fun, you know, high vibe stuff. And so as frequency, high frequencies right there for yeah, sure, literally good vibes. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, so being really mindful of what brings frequency down is really important. Um, Debbie downers, everybody's got somebody who, you, you know, you see it on caller ID and you're like, no, not gonna, you know, you feel like the suckage, just from like seeing the name on the yeah. phone or on a post or something. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but also like sugar is really low vibe, um, alcohol, um, any kind of recreational drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, which pharma, um, that word pharma comes from, uh, or pharmacia literally means witchcraft. And there oh. are side effects to this witchcraft. So, you know, people who are religious can be like, oh, my God, you know, you're new age or you're a witch or whatever. And it's like, OK, well, do you take pharmaceuticals? Because by definition, you're actually participating in witchcraft if you're taking pharmaceuticals. So a lot of people don't really know that. Um, but like 
essential oil, certain essential oils will have high frequency. Certain live food has frequency. If you're eating a canned food or a box food, that's dead has no frequency. Mm. So it takes away from what you may currently be. So again, 67 megahertz on a healthy adult day. But if you start dropping down in the 60s, uh, you're talking about, you know, flus, little, you know, stuff, lip minor stuff, but still a little congestion, things like that, achy. Uh, you drop even lower and you're looking at bigger, bigger issues. And death doesn't even, death isn't even zero. Death is 25 is when death starts. And wow. it takes a good two weeks to get completely to zero, even after you die. So and audition, your auditory nerve is the final one to go, you guys. So is if, it really? Yeah, yeah. So if someone's coded, you could, you know, still talk to them, right? Like That's give them good vibes, you know, tell them, send them good prayers, uh, reassurance, you know, everything will be okay at, at the end of the day. Um, I like what you mentioned about 67 megahertz on an average or regular healthy day for an adult. How can you explain it in terms of negative and positive ions? Uh, could you tell us about how if you're grounded, walking barefoot at the beach, uh, oh do God. we absorb that negative energy, right? Yeah, to absolutely. equalize that and be, and right be in now. harmony? Hi. Let me take it off. Uh, I keep this around my ankle or my arm when I'm working. I just took it off my ankle. Oh. This is plugged directly into the grounding part of the wall because oh. sometimes I don't get out. You can see this is like a <laughs> magnet. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, grounding, you could just be outside for 20 minutes with your shoes off and immediately it changes serotonin, dopamine, all the brain chemistry resets your hormones, decreases estrogen. So all, most of us are very estrogen. I don't like this dominance um, because it, it, they've kind of termed it dominance, which it's not like estrogen is more dominant than another one. It just, we just have too much because it, yeah. again, putting it in like the steroids and the, the food and all this stuff. And then also even in the water and the milk, it's it's in everything. Well, I don't drink milk, but there's estrogen is in everything. So we have an excess of that. Even even men are like getting boobs. The man boobs. Yeah, yeah. So and having things like you know breast cancer and things like that, and more common in men now. So mm -hmm. yeah, grounding is huge, especially if you're in like um, cement city or you know jungle where you you just can't really get out to hug a tree or be in nature at all um it's really important to you can use essential oils that um are more like trees like tree oils like pine cedar wood frankincense those are really really grounding and actually have really high frequency if you're using the right company um, unfortunately, there's a lot of companies out there now that have just jumped on this money ban bandwagon. We're like, oh, this is trendy. So we're going to make an oil too. And they have no idea what they're doing. And then the FDA guidelines right now are if you have an oil, you can label it 100% um, organic uh, natural oil. But they're, but when we've tested them, we found out that like wintergreen, for example, and one of the companies we tested was 99% not wintergreen. And when uh, we, yes. what, a, what a lie. Yeah. And so when we looked at what else was in there, most of it was propylene glycol, which is antifreeze. And mm. I'm like, well, how can you label this 100% if it's really not 100%? And the FDA's response to me was, well, the guidelines are if you have 3% of an oil in a bottle, you can label it 100% because they're not talking about the the entire bottle contains 100% oil. It's saying that the three drops in there that are oil are 100%, and we don't have to tell you what the rest. So, like, I'm drinking mm. cranberry juice right now, and, you know, if I went out, like, I, I sent my daughter out last week to get cranberry juice, and it could say natural, organic, whatever on the front, but on the back, you at least can look at the ingredients and say, oh my gosh, this is 90% fructose and apple juice and whatever, whatever. And, oh, it's only 3% cranberry juice. 
So right. at least you have the um, ability to see ingredients on most foods and drinks, but they haven't tackled this with essential oils yet. We don't, we don't, we, we don't have the ability to look that they, they're not forcing anyone to actually put propylene glycol is mostly what's in this bottle, which is sad because you know, if you're putting that on your body or diffusing that and breathing that in, that's not going to be helpful to your cells and can cause lots of problems. I mean, dogs like die from that. So grounding, um, if it's with the right oils, but being in nature, especially the woods and or like the beach, I mean, you could be 30 minutes from the beach and just hear the waves and it can put you in the theta, which is creativity. And can really ground you and can help with endorphins and all you know just hormones all of that and or if you're in the ocean or water for 30 seconds it can redo everything so 30 minutes versus 30 seconds pretty big difference of so there's code wow. could you tell us more about the other waves alpha beta yeah. Theta, yeah. So, talk about. um delta is uh wait well, i have to go in order i'm sitting here thinking okay alpha is just like a very aware, um, you know, just, just more awake, being able to take information. Say beta is also almost like beta is okay, but you don't want to stay beta because beta is like fight or flight. Average. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you don't want to be high beta because beta um, is good if like a tiger is chasing you, but you don't want to be like stay there because it's too much cortisol. High cortisol. Yes. Which yes. would lead to exactly. low immunity. Yes. Low immunity, lots of wrinkles, um, you know, messes with your metabolism. So lots of that. And then, um, but yeah, but theta is a, more of a creative place. Um, if you're ever looking to like, when you're writing your book, if you're not finished, go, go find some waves and literally get out there. And the entrainment of just the sound can just spark so much, um, inspiration and creativity to be like oh my gosh i have so many ideas i'm just like writing 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 so Ooh, good um, to know if you're listening watching this on youtube hit the subscribe like and share and please. dr charnel has got a lot of her merch in the back so could you tell us a bit more about that what oh. is behind you right now yeah, so my book, my latest book, I have five. Um, these are a couple of them, um, and I'm missing a few, missing two here. But yeah, um, the science of miracles. If you're dealing with stuck patterns, and you're like, oh my gosh, here I am again. Whether it's like partnership issue that keeps happening, or a business deal that doesn't keep happening, or um, you know, it could be a health issue, or maybe you're you've tried to buy a house and like every time you try to buy a house then like somebody backs out at the last minute so any kind of weird patterns that you're ready to move out and to shift up um this is a great book for that of just explaining how to move into new patterns that are your highest and best and how to have synchronicities and miracles literally every day every moment and uh, i talk a lot about um uh let's see i talk about purgatory energetic purgatory i talk about changing timelines or hopping timelines of you know switching things getting get up i talk about the phantom effect uh and you know how frequency works with that i talk about actually the biofield talk about animals and how their field affects us so there's a lot of cool things in there but um yeah animals that, bring so much love I love little puppies just to get their energy and their warmth and their playfulness. Oh uh, yes. And they're, they have such high frequency and cats are like 157 megahertz. So that's really high frequency. Horses are really, really high. Dolphins are unmeasurable. Um, horses, their field is like 350 feet. Like the average person is anywhere from an inch to five feet in mm -hmm. radius. You in their them. field. But, um, but dolphins are unmeasurable. Horses are really majestic. I mean, just they're, the way they vibe, literally the way they vibe. They, they're very grounding as well. So Is that, but yeah. is that why equestrian therapy helps so well? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. And just they're so intuitive. They just, uh, they know, they kind of feel, they know they're very empathic. Um, 
but yeah, um, I have my crystal card deck as well. And this goes into how crystals work with frequency and with oils on the, mar the marriage of the two and how they work together. Um, there's 80 different flashcards in here that go into like different ones and what they do and how they work with the physical, how they work with energetic, how they work with the mind, body, spirit. And that's more, again, like an, a naturopath would be very much looking at mind, body, and spirit, the whole package, not just like, you know, the symptom and being like, let's mask the symptom. Let's give you another pharmacia that's going to have more side effects that we're going to have to give you on another, another thing, you know, um, where again, I'm really looking at the root issue, whether it's mindset, um, you know, beliefs, as you know, you're the queen of understanding belief systems and how powerful they are and how they can get us stuck. Right. The story that you tell yourself. What are you telling yourself day in and day out? What's your first thought in the morning? What's your last thought to wrap up the day? Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was just on an interview and this woman was saying how she was just so lonely and didn't have any friends on that. If when she just starts out only getting a friend, then either they get annoyed or she gets annoyed. And I said, well, if you have a different belief system that everyone you contact, you ignite Christ and or Christ consciousness, or, you know, only the people, you know, I'm so happy that all the people that come in my life are, you know, high vibe and loving and that there's a great exchange. And if that's your belief, you know, and you are alive in that to be alive in it, belief, if you, whatever you embody, that's what code goes out into the field. And again, it radiates but it also magnetizes back. So you're only going to get a match to what you are. That's why inner work is so important of doing all the inner work, because again, we're just these, you know, activators that are constantly radiating. And, but then the heart is a, is a big magnet. So what you're feeling, if she's feeling sad and lonely because she has no friends and her belief system is I have no friends cancel clear, then we are pulling more people into our lives that aren't going to treat us really well because that's our mindset of what we believe. So when we switch it up, language, thoughts, all of those things are what comes into the code. And then also each of our organs and cells have a projection that go in the code too. So the more vibrant we can have our organs to send out a good message, then we're going to get matches to that too, of just people who are healthy, people who are fun. And like, for example, parasites, if, if I'm working with someone with parasites, parasites live off the person to survive, right? So yeah. there is a victim energy now that goes into the code that's basically telling everyone that you come in contact with, hey, I'm a good candidate to be a victim, cancel clear. And, or you can mooch off of me, cancel clear, right? Wow. What I'm seeing is when we people work through and kill the, the parasites, they have a new broadcast that's going out now that I am sovereign, I'm good, I'm healthy, I'm restored, I'm powerful, I'm divine. And those things go out and you start attracting those people to you. So mindset this is, is good soil. I plant good seeds. Whatever that comes into me will flourish, right? Yes. Where you yes. are planted, you will bloom, right? But create that foundation within you that's healthy, vibrant, and strong. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why like with my cards, with each crystal, I explain what, what it does physically, but then I also have a decree with each one. So like this one is Ruby Fuchsite and the decree with this one is I'm clear and all my purpose. And then I also have companion oils that work best with this crystal. So we have a three part punch that is like within the field and also radiating out. So everywhere we go, we're like attracting all of that good stuff to us instead of inviting other people that aren't gonna be our highest into the situation. So these rocks, right? They're from the earth. They're not man-made. Exactly. And so could you tell us a bit about how they were studied in the first place, like how, the history of of what how is it that you know what each of these stones and crystals do um you know a lot of natives 
uh, worked with crystal i mean there's such a history i mean all the way back to history you can look and see that crystals were used even in the bible if you look up things in the bible there's a lot of attention to crystals which is funny because if you like some of the religious people would be like oh my god oils is the devil crystals are the devil you know and it's like okay are you reading the same thing that i am because there's a lot of it there's 1600 references in scripture to essential oils i haven't counted all the ones with with um, crystals but even the levites in the bible who are the main people who did ministry and lots and lots of hard work they wore them on their chest uh and why do you think so because they were pouring out to orphans and helping people all the time and widows and counting money and doing all these sacrifices around all these like weird bacterias and things like that to, so um that was kind of what they were in charge of so of course they would need more frequency to be in service anyone in service uh, where you're helping people and working with people, crystals are going to re be really supportive to you. But I found it by accident because I well, nothing's an accident, but I was looking at essential oils, really studied aromatherapy and found out that if you're working with a real oil, I mean, again, I've only found two companies that actually are real and um, started working with one of them and specifically because of that. I'm kind of a purist. Mm -hmm. but. Sure. Um, you know, I, I found out, okay, this one's really good with blood pressure, or this one's really good for heart, or this one's really good for sleep, or this one's good for anxiety, or this is good for brain, or whatever. And um, after a while, when I was working with my patients, I started looking at crystals, and I'm like, oh, wait, this crystal is also good for blood pressure. So maybe I should couple it with this food, and also this practice, and this essential oil. And that can bring like multiple things into one, you know, one practice to really see results faster and quicker because they're anchoring it in. Um, I looked everywhere for some sort of reference guide or something that married the two together and I could not find anything. Uh, I found lots of reference guides to essential oils and then I find a lot of them to crystals, but I didn't see where I could just go, oh, this crystal works best with that oil or vice versa. So it was kind of trial and error where I was like, when I would be working with someone, I would find out whatever is going on with them diagnostically through the biofeedback. And then I'd say, okay, if I were you, I would add this and this. And um, when I was, if it happened to be essential oils, then I was like, well, let me see what the crystal would be or crystals would be that are, um, could help maybe, you know, support as well. And so I started making a list on my own. Um, and then I had a pretty long PDF and people were like, Hey, can you share that with me? And, um, and I was like, I guess one I share led to the other, which yeah. led to the other. And you're like, Hey, I could monetize this. Let's just yeah. make it to the open to the public. Right. Because exactly. there's only so many one-on-ones that you could do. Let's exactly. might as well do it, put it to out the there. masses as right as just put it out there where i can keep focusing on what i need to do and this is out so you have it and yeah i mean i was actually going to do a book uh another book but what i like about what i found out again kind of accidentally on purpose but um so we did cards for the reason of when i would test somebody let's say with cit citrine which is about abundance um i could put put this exact oil in someone's field and test them and they're going to be stronger and then when i pull the crystal away their body gets weaker um but then we gave them this picture of the card and held that into the field and the card radiated the same amount of frequency as the actual crystal it had it holds oh. and records uh, which i don't know how but it holds it just with the image so imagery is really really important as well so that led me to That's go, well, I don't really want to put it all in one book because if we have this, I can say, well, what do I need for the day? I'm going to stick this in my purse. I'm going to put it in my car. I'm going to put it like in my kids' backpack or their lunchbox. So the kids are carrying them around or under a pillow to sleep on it for the night. Um, wow, it, so interesting. I can even put it like under a coaster put the coaster and then put a drink on so I can charge my drink with the frequency of that, that um, frequency. So I will be drinking the frequency. So I that's mean, something that I learned with studying Reiki. 
Oh, really? um, this complimentary alternative practice uh, with energy wow. work as well for those of you listening about this for the first time. And, you know, they're saying the same thing. You can just with intention, right, and placing your hands on your food, your drink, you can charge it in a way where it's more uh, fictitious for you. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I think that we get like we overthink sometimes and we're like, well, how can that happen? I mean, even with biofeedback, I can do long distance biofeedback on people. And the first time that would happen to me that I had it done on me, it literally knocked me out for 14 hours. I was It, it was so much energy that was wow, sent to no. me. I was like asleep. And for first time you know, listeners, what is biofeedback? Oh, okay, cool. So biofeedback, I can basically do a, a, like a, a diagnostic shot of your field and well and we do evox too so your voice contains um certain weaknesses and or strengths in your body and so we can detect like what's going on with you physically based by your voice and then what i do is once i know what's out of whack or out of balance i take all the things that are out of, ba out of balance and i customize certain frequencies to be sent back to you and then we start that right away we just send them right away and like i said it could be done to australia or england or you know on the other side of the world and people feel it um that's amazing we've had people who are like um you know anxiety or actually really really hard um physical issues that have seen amazing results um I heard about remote work um, with a 16 year old boy who was working with an astronaut. And when the astronaut got back, he was actually diagnosed with cancer. And the kid was working on him across the country. Um, and the dude healed just from long distance rem remote work. So um, there That's is- That's amazing. And yeah. I love how, just to interject real quick, how you mentioned that your channel had all these followers and it got wiped out. If that were to happen to me, no problem. We'll start back up again. Why? Because this information is worthy to be shared. And you guys, I'm not running ads on the show. There's no interruptions in terms of other voices. I'm going to link everything on the description below, including Dr. Charnel's work, how you could support the channel, uh, because definitely sh spread the word because if you didn't know about this, chances are your loved ones didn't know about this either. And this is a good place to start how Dr. Charnel, a call with her could virtually and literally change your life. Well, you're doing really well with this. And you're right, sharing and getting this out is so important with whether it's this message or any of the messages, because you have quite a few really great shows is you just, you guys never know, you know, people are going through so much and, you know, just one little, some, even a sentence sometimes can, can be a complete change turnaround for somebody. So it, this is really, especially in this season, uh, I mean, I've had four deaths this week, two last week, um, and two of them were suicides. There's a lot of suicides going on and quote, sudden deaths. And, you know, people are having to deal with family members being sick and you know all these changes and governmental everything and like you know there's just a lot going on and the fear tactics and the narrative so mm -hmm. you know, people seem um you know anything hope anything instructional anything that can give people something to focus on to work on themselves and get better so these other outside external things won't seem as big when when we're taking responsibility that word response able we are response able we can work on us and we have that and you know your show is perfect example of just how to encourage people and to get in that mindset and to to remember love and come back to love and stay in love that's right and to wrap up my question of the show is what does having an unbeyond mindset mean to you for me, again, it goes back to the whole package. You know, when we focus on like this or that or this or that, it's it's a very narrow focus and it leaves out all the other possibilities. And so, you know, balance is so key, you know, balance in, 
your work, balance in your home life, balance in your physical, you know, are you exercising? Are you sleeping well? Are you getting sunlight? Are you in nature? You know, being outside, um, how are you eating? What are you drinking? You know, uh, definitely who you're hanging out with, you know, are you in the right job is, or, or you know, purpose? Um, do you enjoy what you're doing? You know, there's, there's so many things, you know, abundance, Abundance doesn't have to be just about money. Abundance is even with health because if you have a really good, strong health, then you're not at the doctor all the time. You're not getting pharmaceuticals. You're not having to like run around the rat race of that. Absolutely. Um, so there's so much, um, so much to that question. You know, there, it's it's a lifestyle. It's not just uh, I'm going to read this book and you know, have that mindset. It's more of like practicing that in every area of your life, as well as like embodying that, you know, living that and being that and not just talking about it or reading about it or focusing on one section of things. Like, does that make sense? Absolutely. It's the bigger picture, right? Yeah. Be holistic, be, have this interdisciplinary approach, right? A good medical team is more than one person. You're not just checking in with, with one person and expecting all these answers. Chances are they don't have all the answers. And what are they going to do? They're going to research. And that's the same thing that you could do. If right now you don't like your doctor, you don't like what they're recommending, it's not working, have a second opinion, you know, and change. Because change can be scary, right? Even the word beyond billion could be scary, right? But it doesn't have to. Like, just give it a different meaning. How do you perceive the world? What definitions are you giving words, right? The, the dictionary can say one thing, and but that was created, right? That was written by someone that was decided at some point. So you are the creator of your own life and just keep writing your, your book as you see fit. I love it. I love it. And tell me again one, time, one more time, what's the name of your book you're writing? Un Beyond mindset colon health love it i love it yeah de let me keep me posted on when this comes out when are you expecting it to be out Ooh, before the end of the year so it's happening in 2022 everybody stay tuned <laughs> yay i'm excited i can't wait thank you so much for listening and share the show and we'll see you next time thank Thanks, you for Dr. having Chanel. me see you around thank you